Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the range now. Today we are revisiting the SAR USA SAR 9 full-size handgun. I've had it for a couple years now. I really enjoy it. Let's go ahead and take a few shots and then we'll talk more about it. There it is, the SAR-9, imported by SAR-USA. This is what I consider a cross between an HK lower and a Glock upper. You can see it's squared off much like a Glock. It does have front serrations there. Comes with two magazines, 17 round mags, 4.4 inch barrel, and check out that grip. Doesn't that remind you of the P30 series with HK? It does come with three additional back straps and grip panels to custom fit the hand size of the shooter. A little bit of a beveled magwell there, and I already mentioned 17 round magazines. A very nice gun. And many people take one look at that and they say, well, that's a, you know, a mating session between Glock and HK, and I could not agree more it shoots outstanding very happy with it since day one and this has been tested and used throughout militaries in europe and, and it's a turkish made gun and it's a very nice gun i've had it for a while as i mentioned now the trigger is a one piece trigger it does have a trigger bar safety in there i'm measuring it at five and a half pounds and then there is the reset. It has this red piece right in there. Hope that can pick up. And then when that is no longer visible, is right when it breaks. Three dot sights and a pick rail right there. A disassemble, similar to Glax, you know, and, and so many others these days. Just like that, you can see it has a dual recoil spring and, of course, the polymer lower. Sar. USA. I, you know, they, they actually make some impressive models. I set my spinners back up. Those are actually very small targets, five inches wide. But the SAR-9 has an MSRP of 422. On average, mid 300s is what you can pick this up for. And prior to all this nonsense going on in the gun world, in the mid 200s is what this was selling for. That is a steal for such a nice pistol. With a great reputation, by the way, especially overseas. Let's try some one-handed here and see how it goes. Yeah, if I take my time, instead of rushing through the shots, I do much better with those spinners. I spent about a half hour on the phone today with a rep from SAR USA and we spoke about the SAR 9X. It is a, an updated version of this. It is Cerakoted in platinum. It has lightning cuts on the slide. It, it comes with a light. It's a beautiful looking handgun, a 17 and 19 round magazine. And it very much models this, but it's updated and it offers more capacity and it comes with a light and some other things that I'm not mentioning. But I really want to get that one in my hands. I think that would be something very interesting. So if it has an MSRP of 555, chances are right in the mid 400s is what it would sell for. And I would love to review that. But there is the SAR 9, a beautiful uh, shooting handgun, very smooth. It's a NATO gun, primarily 124 grain, 9 millimeter is what it's suited for. The SAR 9X comes with a holster, a mag holster, a light, and is optic ready. It's set to cut an RMR. The SAR 9 here has a loaded weight just under 35 ounces and unloaded just under 28 ounces. Let's take a few shots and you can check out the lack of recoil.
Let's check out the Sarnai reliability with a lip wrist test. Nice, it passed. So there it is, the SAR USA SAR 9. It's an impressive gun, especially in that budget price range. I, I needed to get it back out to the range and check it out. It's been a little while, and I leave today as impressed as I was when I received it and all the other times that I've taken it to the range. It's, it's a nice gun, very happy with it, and I really want to get that SAR 9X in my hands because I think they have a real winner. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.